prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Now look at the text again. The Lord is saying that for you to be prosperous, it is not accidental. There is a way of prosperity. It says that thou shalt make thy way prosperous. There is a way of prosperity. The more you walk in that way, the more prosperous you become. There is a way. Today I'm speaking on the way of prosperity. So you have to understand, there is a way. And for you to get into that way, there are some things you should be doing. So the Bible says the first thing you have to be careful about is what you are talking about. Be careful of your spirit. Don't let, say the book of the law should not depart of thy mouth. So if you are going to speak, it should be the word of God. Let your words be seasoned with salt. That it shall minister grace to the hearers thereof. You, see, you have to be very careful what you speak. For life and death are in the power of the tongue. That the, the must, a man's belly shall be filled with what? With the words of his mouth. What you speak has influence on your environment. What you decree today will become your own self-fulfilling prophecy of your future. What you are speaking today is recreating your life ahead of you. So be very careful of what you are saying. But interestingly, what you say is already, is, is literally influenced by what you have embraced in your mind. So he says to him, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou may, shall meditate therein day and night. Your, your meditation will affect your utterance. What you think about the most is going to determine what you speak about the most. Let me say it again. What you think about the most is going to influence what you talk about the most. So you have to be very careful that whatever you are meditating on, focused on, that, that, that your, your imagination is going to affect your utterance. And your utterance has a very critical factor in determining how prosperous you become. So therefore, the Lord says to Joshua, that Joshua, I want you to meditate in my word. Meditate in it. And if you do, the sign that shows that you've been meditating in my word, the word will not depart from the mouth. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So what you have stored in your heart is what is going to affect your utterance. So therefore, if you want to be prosperous, then you need to begin to meditate in God's word. What is, do we mean by meditation? Meditate means that you read the text, you, you study the text, you question the text, you literally memorize the text, and you, you literally apply the text to you to assimilate it into your lifestyle. You, you make sure that you are conversant with the text. You have rightly applied it into your life. The Bible says the word of God should be engrafted in us. You see, so meditation is not just reading or perusing the text. You, you are studying the text to make sure you rightly apply it in your life. The Bible says, Meditate in the word day and night. So therefore, whatever that must be in our mind should be the word of God continuously, 24 hours. The only thing we think about is what the word of God says. You don't think about any other thing. In Psalm 1, the Bible says, Blessed is the one who meditates in God's word. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers or by, by the river. Are, are you understanding me? Bearing fruit in every season. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. You, you need to get this thing. If you are thinking about God's word, meditating on it, and studying God's word, and allowing that word to affect your life, I can promise you everything about your life will begin to change. It will affect your judgment. It will affect your emotions. It will affect the way you make decisions. Everything about you will begin to change. The Lord says to Joshua that when you do this, that you will learn to observe to do all that is written therein. When you meditate in God's word, it affects you and A, in you obeying God's word. And when you obey God's word, it says, then thou shalt, now look at the conclusion of it, then because of what, then, for then, thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good sources. People of God, God has once entrepreneurs from the kingdom who are going to be prosperous, good prosperity, and also produce good success. 
And I'm hoping that you are one of those. And if you are going to be prosper, it is not you having companies and, and are trying to get some strategies to, to initiate a new concept and uh, uh, implement a, a new endeavor. Uh, you're trying to get more job done. That is not a people of God. God is looking for entrepreneurs who are spirit filled, uh, uh, spirit minded, uh, spirit controlled, uh, influenced by God's word. When they open their mouth, the only thing they talk about is kingdom principles. Uh, they don't only thing they can say is what the Lord of God, the Word of God is saying. And I'm hoping as I'm speaking to you, 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 you will be part of that generation. The Bible says, if you do the then, you shall have good prosperity and good success. Hear me and hear me very carefully. If we are going to be successful, our thinking must change. Now let me practicalize this. Therefore, be very careful of what you allow into your system. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it is the issues of life. So therefore, you, you cannot just sit down. I just want to give you some practical concepts here. You, you cannot just sit down and prosperity will just happen. You make your way. You, see, you make your way prosperous. It is you doing something for the prosperity to happen. And, and so right now, if prosperity is initiated by the right information you invest in your mind, that if I were you, I would literally... Give time to God's word. Are you understand what I'm talking about? See, many of you, you read 15 minutes, then sometimes you don't read at all, and, and you invest 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours, whatever hours, for you working in your secular jobs. And you are thinking that your secular job is going to bless you. Now remember, nobody's going to give you a billion dollar in your secular job. Nine to five is never going to give you that billion dollar, or it's going to make you that a millionaire. But brothers and sisters, if God is saying that, just make sure that you invest time in meditating. Now, the, listen to what the Lord the was saying. He said, meditate it day and night. That means what God is saying that invest so much time in meditating of my word. When you do that, the God who wrote the script on prosperity, the one who knows the hidden treasures of this earth, the one who hid the gold, he knows the veins of the gold, the silver and the gold belongs to him. He, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the earth and the earth and the earth and the fullness that belongs to him. Everything is here. And he's saying that if you can do this, you will make your way prosper. It is a choice. Prosperity is a choice. Poverty also is a choice. We need to decide what are we going to choose today? Hear me and hear me very carefully. He says, make your way prosperous. That shall make that way prosperous. And that shall have good success. What must we do then? I want you to allocate some time and read the Bible because I've never read before. Write notes. Study. Meditate on those words. Begin to get some concept of the scripture and begin to declare it. As you're walking around, declare it even upon your life. In the morning, when you get out of bed, declare some things. Whilst you're going to bed, declare some things. Whilst you're working, you're imagining and meditating on God. So even whilst you're working, you're going to work, you're thinking about what you have read in the text. You're imagining how it's going to benefit you, how to rightly apply it. You, you just want to cause that word of God to be engrafted in you. You see? Let the word of God dwell in you richly. You see? I, I need you to get it. Therefore, then, the, you need to read a lot of books. Not just any books. Read spirit kind of books. Books that are written by spirit-filled men. Those who have studied the word of God. Those who have invested time to uh, literally deduce and induce the text. They have, they have such hermeneutic concept. They have studied and they have broken the scripture with deep revelations for you. So read a lot. And nowadays, many believers, you don't read books. When's the last time you read a book? You want to be rich, but you don't want to invest time. You see, let me share this with you. There is no rich man. Many, many entrepreneurs and rich people read many, many, many books. You find out. You go and study. You're going to notice they read a whole lot of books. They study. They know what kind of information they want to put in their mind. They are very critical of what kind of information they accept. Hear me, people of God. The Lord is raising end time entrepreneurs so they have come to trumpet the clarion call to awaken you that no matter the situation the circumstance you are in right now god wants to enlist you into that army and i'm calling you by the grace of the lord to wake up 
no matter who you are, there's greatness for you. There's something greater than you have ever perceived. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of man. Those things that God has prepared. God wants to bless you beyond understanding. And if you are there listening to me, I want you to just stretch off your hands and say, Father, I want to be part of that team. I just want to be using this end time to finance the gospel. Well, Father, I, I pray for everyone listening to me. I pray that your light will shine even upon them. The, the, the brightness of your grace will dawn on them. Every darkness will be dispersed. They will be liberated from every mental myopia, any cultural hypnosis. They, they, they will be released into a place in you whereby they experience your benevolence. They, they will begin to strive for your heritage, but not in the wrong way, but they will learn how to make their way prosperous. That, that something will click, something will happen to them. That there will be a, a change in them. Their thinking will change. Oh my God, I thank you for the wonderful things you are doing. I thank you for awakening the army, stirring out a generation of entrepreneurs, people who have been filled with the Holy Ghost, a, a generation of spiritpreneurs. I thank you for what you have done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. If you have been blessed by this message, I want you to keep on visiting us on Crusaders' website, crusaders.bit.crusaders.bit, and come and support this ministry. And I will also be so glad if you can send me an email to also let me know how you feel and what kind of topics you want us to discuss. Because in Spirit Printer, we are not just going to talk about spiritual things. We are, we are going to teach on practical business concepts, things you can do right now to start a business. So we are going to talk about how to uh, get capital for your business, what kind of internet business you can start right now, things you should be doing right now that will get Get you into into wealth. So keep on praying for me. Until next time, this is Pastor Randolph Matthew of Crusaders Ministries International. God bless you. Speaking on prayer printer. God bless you. Until next time. Bye bye.